Thoughts on your boy Jake Paul? Dude, who would win Jake Paul right now or prime Mike Tyson? Steven. Oof, that's a really hard one. Find yourself on this chart, guys. The Jake Paul hater stages. Thanks. In round one, I typed in Jake Paul wins by knockout round seven. My grandpa had Muhammad Ali. My dad had Mike Tyson. I have Jake Paul. Here to post Pepe and nothing else. Thoughts on your boy Jake Paul? Dude, I was in chat last night. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I have an eye for fighting, okay? I just have an eye for it. I called that shit. You can logs me all Stop day, baby. Your fat mouth. Hey, oh, hi, Steve. How is the new place? <laughs> all day, nice baby. In round one, I typed in Jake Paul wins by knockout round seven. It was like round six. He set him up a little bit earlier, but what can I say? Jake Paul's a champion, guys. Quick question. <laughs> Do you think Biden stopping the Keystone contributed to inflation? It caused oil companies to speculate on supply and caused massive price increases. No, I don't think so. I think the Keystone shit has been dead for before Biden came into office, I'm pretty Nathan sure. Pepe. There it is, boys. Okay. What? Oh, I thought I just heard Mr. Moon talk. I'm having psychosis. He's gonna win by KO wow. round seven. Boom, there it was. God, I was so smart. Fuck, I'm so good. Who would win Jake Paul right now or prime Mike Tyson? Thank you, Steven. Oof, that's a really hard one. Mike Tyson in his prime was pretty good, but whew. I think Paul probably needs like, I'd say like four or five more fights under his belt before he could go toe to toe with prime, uh, before he could go toe to toe with Tyson in his prime, I'd say. He needs like three or four more fights, we'll see, you know? Three or four more fights, we'll see. Shut the fuck up, Mutant, all right? It's a stupid fucking meme. Guys, what is Mute Fat? <clears throat> because I'm putting 100%. As requested, I have prepared a meeting with the CEO of Child Labor Services I Incorporated like regarding the sponsorship deal for the provision of cut cost armaments to several despotic warlords. Each weapon comes with an NFT of varying rarity. Yo, Des, it's like that minute our man. Dude, I was shit posting so hard on Twitter last night. There were some great fucking pictures. Holy I shit. Like I was yoinking these from all over the internet. <laughs> Hold on. I am now mega brain. <sighs> For the record, I'm sorry, because I know somebody's already making a small, uh, angry post on my server. I don't know anything about boxing or fighting. I just like triggering the fuck out of people, and, just, cause, and there's a lot of material here to do it. My grandpa had Muhammad Ali. My dad had Mike Tyson. I have Jake Paul. True. <clears throat> this is where you guys are right now. Hey, find yourself on this. Find yourself on this chart, guys. The Jake Paul hater stages. Jake only beat a YouTuber. He can't beat a real athlete. Jake only beat an athlete. He can't beat a true fighter. Okay, he only beat a UFC fighter. He can't beat a boxer. You'll bet. You'll get there, guys. All the way to number nine. I got it wrong. Jake Paul is the greatest boxer of all time. The longest reigning champion in history. And then there was... <laughs> there was this picture. <laughs> Holy shit. God damn. Trigger some people on... Twitter. Yes. You're a fucking statistician. Feels good, man. Thief. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to the Jake train. It's every day, bro. <laughs> true. It is. Absolutely true. It's every fucking day, bro. Honest opinion. Do you think Bosch calls your right wingers an insane because oh, he wants to pick his fan base away from your takes because he is a second rate version of you? Or do you think it's just an optics thing for far leftists? I think it's just, I think it's mainly like laziness. He doesn't want to actually engage with my stuff because I think he's actually a little bit afraid of those arguments because either he knows he's wrong or he doesn't think he can defend his points as well as he pretends he can. Um, so I think it's just like a way to like, you know, like, oh, he's a crazy conservative, fuck it, you know? That saves you the trouble of having to engage with anything I say. Somebody asked if I think Jake will ever be a, a... Do you think he can get far with all the support he's getting? Um, this is my total guess without knowing 
anything, and maybe somebody that knows more about boxing chairman, my guess is going to be that Jake will probably never try to compete in boxing. He's probably always going to do like these exhibition matches because it's a fuck ton of money. And then he can kind of like pick and choose, you know, like, oh, like this guy used to be good. Or like basically try to like pick and choose your opponents, you know? There is a back and forth in, it's either like an anime or a movie or something edgy. <sighs> fuck, I think I watched this recently. What was it? Somebody says something like, um, hold on. After Jakey Paul is done with boxing, he's coming for you in the marketplace of ideas. Somebody says something to like the antagonist or protagonist like, oh, like um, <clears throat> you're very skilled or something. And then the guy's like, I've never lost a fight. Or, or no, maybe he doesn't comment. He's, but some guy basically is like, oh, I've never lost a fight. And the, I think he says, I've never lost a fight. I'm very skilled. And then the other guy's like, oh, you've just chosen your opponents wisely. Something like that. Where does this come from? Does anybody know what I'm thinking of? Is this from Game of Thrones? Is it? Where, which, what scene in Game of Thrones is this from? Oh, Ned said it to Jamie Lannister when they go to fight in the street. Is that when he says it? Or is it Ned to Jamie in episode two? Oh, okay. Maybe it was some other part. But yeah, I yeah. That's that's that saying is like it sounds like an insult. Like you're um like you've you've chosen your opponents um wisely. It's like, huh, you're fighting weak people. But in reality, choosing opponents wisely is a really important thing, part of anything that you do. <laughs> um it's, it's it's kind of like at um it's like the difference between like training versus like competing or whatever. I guess like, well, no, fuck. I actually, I don't want to generalize. This is a hard one to say. When you're playing poker, okay, you don't want to be the worst person at the table, okay? It's not like a, like surround yourself with a bunch of great people that are better than you that you can learn from. No, when you're playing poker, you want to surround yourself with a bunch of fucking losers. They're going to donate your money to you. They're going to donk off all their chips, okay? You, you know, it doesn't matter if you're the, um, I think this is a Doyle Brunson quote. It doesn't matter if you're the 10th best poker player in the world. If you're at a table with the nine best poker players of the world, you're going to get your ass whipped, right? Um, finding soft tables is a really important thing. And then when it comes to like setting up exhibition matches and shit, like what Jake Paul is doing, finding good opponents is also, that in and of itself is probably a really important skill. Because you don't, you don't, he doesn't want to get his ass whipped. You know, it's going to take a lot of the steam out of his sails, wind out of his sails, steam out of his engine. Um, <clears throat> and I don't see any reason why Jake Paul would go into, like, why would he compete? You know? Somebody can, like, why would you ever compete if you're Jake Paul? You are a massive celebrity. Your exhibition matches bring in so many views. You sell so many tickets. You make so much money. Like, why go to compete and have like a, either a middling or potentially subpar like boxing career? Why would you cap everything off that way? You know, it just seems like a bad idea. Like Jake Paul. <laughs> now this will trigger. This is gonna trigger. No, it shouldn't trigger. You should know this. If you're a boxer, actually, you should be used to your sport getting shit on anyway, because you've watched your sport degrade over the past few decades into like just stupid exhibition bullshit matches anyway. So you should already know this, right? Jake Paul has already gotten more recognition than probably like 99% of boxers that have boxed professionally, I, and that's not even an exaggeration. Like, does anybody here? Can anybody here name a boxer like Muhammad Ali and like Mike Tyson? I, maybe I'm showing, maybe it's a self-report because I don't know many boxers, but like, I'm pretty sure like 99% of people couldn't name more than like, th yeah, like some of you might know boxing, but like, aside from like those two boxers, like 99% of the normal population, oh, Mayweather maybe, sure, like aren't going to know very many boxers. So he's already got the recognition. He's already getting the money, right? Why the fuck would he, why would he go compete, you know? <clears throat> okay, I need to start running around because I'm going to run out of energy on this dumbass fucking... Hoth planet. Okay, local storage, remote supply. Okay. I feel like I've outpaced him intellectually. I'm still mad at Dan BTW. At least until you win at league, so you can blame the feeding on down. <laughs> also, bad. um, some, <laughs> something else I noticed that was really funny is um, some boxing matches are literally just like DayZ. It is a copy paste of the DayZ stream viewing experience where you're watching the most boring fucking shit for like 20 minutes and you just don't give a fuck. And then one thing happens and all of a sudden it's like the most hype shit in the fucking world and it was all worth it. Because, oh my God, that match was so boring. Holy shit, I have never seen two people 
okay? These motherfuckers were on MDMA. They were hugging it out so much. It was so boring. But, and like, the audience was booing. It was so, like, everybody hated it. The announcers were, like, shitting on them. They were like, oh, this is pretty embarrassing to watch. I think they even said that. The announcers were shitting on them. The audience was fucking booing. Fucking the boxers were getting bored. The referee kept saying, like, hey, guys, let's box or whatever. And then that, and then Paul landed that one shot and everybody was on their feet and the announcers were going crazy and they were and everybody was like oh my god it, it, it felt like watching a daisy stream we like watch a guy run around in the forest for like two hours doing nothing and then that one hype moment happens and you're like god damn we talked about the rust server recently um no but i guess now that i'm here we could probably start setting it up this person really wants blood. Scratch a deadbeat dad who mix, mistakes meth for ecstasy and finishes bleeds. What the fuck? 